Hey YouTube, it's me, B3 here with a half-grown, unkempt beard. Uh, I'm trying to grow full out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just saw Avengers Infinity War. Ah! And it was, uh, it was not bad. It was not bad, I have to say. I'm, I've been sick for like a week. Uh, more like half a week. But I'm honestly feeling a lot better. I couldn't even talk few days ago I was feeling so bad the congestion and the throat pain but I finally felt good enough to run out here and see Avengers Infinity War I've been dodging spoilers like a motherfucker because I got sick like two days before the film came out mm. but uh, I did see it I was expecting many deaths and I got a lot uh, I'm not gonna have any spoilers at the beginning of this video and then I'll give you a point where I'm saying spoilers on and I'll turn on spoilers and then I'll spoil stuff. And if you want to stay for that, you can. If you don't, see ya. But for now, it's going to be non-spoilers. This movie wasn't set up like a film. It played out more like a comic book would. Which made a lot of sense, especially with all the characters you had to bring in and everything. It uh, structurally played out more like a comic book story than a film which really worked in its favor. Um, Iron Man, his suit is based off the most recent one he had in the comics at the time of recording this. He's in like a coma or whatever, but I know he's coming back because I saw it in a previews book. He's coming back soon. Uh, but yeah, it's very much like the most recent suit he wore during like the Civil War II stuff and etc. Uh, Invincible Iron Man, very cool. Very cool suit. Uh, we got to see Iron Spider. You guys know I love my Spider-Man. Iron Spider, dope. Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor, everything. Every single thing up to this point was, was in it. And that was really cool. Got to see one of my favorite villains, Thanos. Um, Infinity Stones. Ten years of work. And it was quite, it was quite fun. It was quite fun. It was not a bad film. But only because it played out like a comic book. Because it... This film, walking into it, I was like, this is either going to be really, really good or a clusterfuck. And it wasn't really either of those things. Because, I mean, it's good, yeah, but it's not like, yeah. It's, it's good if you're already invested. If you walk into it and this is the first Marvel movie you've seen, you're going to be like, this film's terrible. Um, when the movie was over, actually, one person stormed out angrily. Like, they were pissed. Uh... But I mean, the acting is good as always. The score, very dry as always. Lighting, dry as always. Marvel films, they try to keep the lighting and score so consistent that they end up being bland all the time, which is just not good. Uh, we have to see lots of cool new characters like the Black Order, the Black Dwarf, uh, Proxima Midnight, Ebony Maw, another one whose name I don't remember. But they didn't even say his name in the film. I'm just reciting because I read Infinity. When it came out. Uh, but I mean, it was fun. It was a good, fun film. Now, spoilers on. We're going to talk about spoilers now. I had several predictions about who could possibly die in this film. I was thinking, oh, Nebula could die because beyond defeating Thanos... Uh, there's no point for her existence. It's kind of the same for Drax, but not really because he's become part of a family. But Drax was still on my watch list, on my I wouldn't be surprised if he died, but I'm not counting on it list. Loki, I was like, Loki's going to die, ultimate redemption. Uh, I felt that coming. Vision, going to get the stone ripped out of his head. I thought Captain America or Iron Man would die, but not both. I thought Cap would die because we've seen a lot of emphasis on Bucky in several movies. And um, after credit scenes featuring Bucky and all this Bucky stuff. So I feel like, and Chris Evans said Infinity War was going to be his last run. Chris Hensworth also said that, but I didn't think they were going to kill Thor. Um, not in this one, but... Captain America did not die, and Iron Man didn't even die. I was like, what? Ah, I did not expect uh, both of them to survive. I really didn't. But Vision died exactly the way I predicted he would. 
Loki died exactly the way I predicted he would. You know, but the other death, the three main deaths in the film, the one I did not expect was Gamora. I thought Gamora was safe. I really, really did. But she died. And it was, oh shit. It was, <laughs> it was the only uh, real death that I felt emotionally because I've been ready for Lokis and I've been ready for Visions. But I wasn't ready for Gamora. I wasn't ready for it. So that one, I felt that one. Uh, Peter Quill fucking screwed everything up when he started punching Thanos and Mantis lost her control. Uh, they could have beat him. They could have beat him in this movie, but the movie ended with Thanos winning, wiping out half the, uh, half the universe, which I kind of figured it would end that way. But Adam Warlock's probably going to show up, and then he's probably going to get the Infinity Gauntlet on him and reverse it, kind of like Infinity Gauntlet. I mean, that's what I'm expecting, because we already know Adam Warlock is going to show up eventually, because he was in an after credit scene in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Um, and all that stuff's coming. Hopefully, I can't believe I have to wait till fucking May of next year. God damn, I have to wait a whole fucking year? Ant-Man and the Wasp ain't going to be enough to time me over, motherfuckers. I don't give a damn about Ant-Man. I'm a big Wasp fan, however. They weren't in this film, because they're under house arrest. Same with uh, Hawkeye, both under house arrest. Um, it was pretty cool. Cannot believe Iron Man or Captain America didn't die. <laughs> now, a lot of people died. Falcon died. Scarlet Witch died. Groot died. But they were all wiped out with the universal, with the universe snap, right? So they're going to come back. So don't worry about them. They're coming back. Gamora probably won't come back. Loki and Vision are probably not coming back either. Of course, this is superheroes, and the superheroes, no one can fucking stay dead, because ever since Superman came back to life in the comics, death has been dead. Um, but I, I hope, I hope with all my heart, Gamora, Vision, and Loki do not come back to life because I feel like that would be a ripoff. There have to be real consequences or people aren't going to feel anything anymore. Got to have real consequences, people. That's all I'm, I'm hoping for. In the next film, we keep those consequences and maybe even lose someone else. I'm actually expecting to lose more people in the next half. So, yeah, that's it. You know, in Infinity War, not a bad film. Not a bad film. I still think Civil War is my favorite MCU film, though. But yeah, we got more coming out. We got we got Venom, we got Ant-Man and the Wasp, we got Aquaman, we got Deadpool 2. All kinds of superhero films coming out this year. Uh, that's just mainstream stuff off the top of my head. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all later.